बिसमिल रहीम असल डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर सादिया जफ़र एंड टू डे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इन्वामेंटल इम्पेक्ट असमेंट मैथडोलॉजी वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द इन्वामेंटल इम्पेक्ट असमेंट इन डिटेल एंड टू डे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इट्स मैथडोलॉजी the methodology of environmental impact assessment has different methods like ad hoc method overlay overlay methods or map overlay methods impact checklist matrix methods and network methods first is the ad hoc methods ad hoc methods uh, that provide the minimal guidance for total impact assessment while suggesting the broad areas of possible impacts and general nature of these possible impacts for example impacts on plant and animal life might be stated as minimal but adverse whereas the impacts on regional economy might be stated as significant and extremely beneficial these statements are qualitative and could be based on subjective assessments or could be qualitative interpretations of quantitative results this table is representing the illustrative ad hoc approach to environmental impact versus environmental areas environmental areas or environmental effect uh, like the wildlife endangered species natural vegetation exotic vegetation grading soil characteristics natural drainage groundwater noise surface paving recreation air quality visual disruption open space health and safety economic values public facilities includes the schools or educational institutes and public services and the confirmation about the uh, regional plans all these environmental areas or environmental impact has no effect or may have uh, the positive effects negative effect beneficial adverse or may be uh, problematic or problematic may be uh, um, short term or long term means environmental impact may be uh, short uh, term or long term or reversible or may be irreversible second is the overlay methods or map overlay methods overlay methods generally depend on a set of maps of a project areas environmental characteristics environmental characteristics like the physical social ecological aesthetic and uh, such other characteristics of the environment these maps are overlaid to produce a composite characterization of areas environment impacts are then identified by 
noting the impacted environmental characteristics within the project area boundaries this presents a graphical display of the types of impacts the impacted areas and their relative geographical location the third is the impact checklist and the impact checklist that is a method of combining a list of potential impact areas that need to be considered in environmental impact assessment process with an assessment of indi individual impacts this approach has been adopted by a number of public agencies since it ensures that a prescribed list of areas is considered in assessment process unfortunately this type of method doesn't provide for the establishment of direct cause effect links to the various project activities and generally doesn't include an overall interpretation of the collective environmental impacts and the fourth one is matrix method and the matrix methods basically incorporate a list of project activities or actions with a checklist of environmental conditions or characteristics that might be affected combining these list as horizontal and vertical axis for a matrix allows the identification of cause effect relationships between the specific activities and impacts the entries in the cell of the matrix can be either qualitative estimates or quantitative estimates of these cause effect relationships the later rate in many combined into a weighting scheme leading to a total impact score this table is representing the matrix approach to comparing the environmental impact of actions on existing characteristics and conditions of environment the existing environmental conditions which is proposed action like the land form water recharge climate floods stability stress or strain like earthquake 
open space, residential, health and safety, population density, structures, transportation and the overall its impact on the modification of the habitat, alteration of hydrology and drainage system and the surface ping and noise and vibration urbanization cut and fill or landfill and erosion control landscaping and the traffic circulation these are affected by the proposed action here the alphabet representing the different conditions or different impacts like the letter A displaying the insignificant low impact not injurious to the land and environment while the B representing the measurable impact but with proper planning and building is not interest to land and the C is denoting the high impact on the environment but can be cured by taking the proper precautionary measures and the D has the impact on the environment but considered as good and the letter E representing the impact that will be detrimental to the environment. And the fifth one is the network methods. And next is the network methods that start with a list of project activities or actions and then generate the cause condition effect networks. Networks means chains of event like a network. This type of method is basically an attempt to recognize that a series of impacts may be triggered by a project action. Hence, this method provides a road map type of approach to identification of second and third order effects. The idea is to start with a project activity and identify the types of impacts which would initially occur. The next step is to select each impact and identify the impacts which may be induced as a result. This process is repeated until all possible impacts have been identified. Sketching this 
in a network from result in part is commonly referred to as an impact tree this figure is representing the impact for hypothetical bank stabilization project in which the construction on stream bank is divided into visual quality stream valley vegetation erosion historical historical or archaeological and others the visual quality is further divided into property value public image personal enjoyment and visitor experience among these the personal enjoyment is uh, includes the stability temperament and pride while the stream valley vegetation includes the aquatic organisms obstruction debris bank conditions sedimentation or silt water temperature forest or field animals terrestrial fauna and the erosion includes the channel slope bottom composition bank conditions sedimentation or silt turbidity benthic organisms soils and visual quality and the channel slope is further divided into the flooding water temperature fish and stream flow among these flooding includes the bridges roads subdivisions single homes erosions or uh, obstructions like debris and turbidity and the sedimentation or silt includes the bridges or culverts and the soil that includes the stream pattern bank condition stream valley and vegetation and the histor historical or archaeological that have the recreation or heritage so this is all about the impact tree for our bank stabilization project these are the some references and thank you so much dear students for your kind attention